the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they knew that he was speaking about them. And although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowd, for they regarded him as a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Normally I turn off the sound when I start into the live stream, but I just lift that on a little bit to, well, by <laughs> unconsciously really. But uh, it can also be a reminder that you can hear their daily readings to um, absorb the readings also vocally, because God's word was always spoken, eventually it was written down the communities and that's the way it happens in our own lives as well we didn't read the scriptures first somebody told us the stories maybe they just told the stories as best they remembered and maybe eventually they read the story to us so it entered through the ear and besides books weren't around that much until recently 500 years ago and I think iPhones were more recent and iPads too. And recordings. So it's a very handy way to to let the word of God penetrate into our lives and it's really the ancient way, the spoken word through the ear. And there's a famous line that that faith comes through the ear. That means somebody must speak because when you read it, it can be independent of another person. But when it's read, then there's another person involved. So I'm not just reading a piece of information like a manual for a dishwasher. I'm actually picking up the resonance the Word of God has in the other person's heart. And that's part of the reason why the liturgical celebration of the Word of God is so powerful because everybody is gathered together in the spirit of faith to listen together to God speaking to his people. And this has ancient roots. And today on this second Friday, well, third Friday of Lent, but second week of Lent, coming towards the end of it, we have these very dramatic readings illustrating the brokenness of humanity. And I'd let you read the readings yourselves, but I would like to swing the, the impression around from the negativity to a much more to the redemptive side and the marvels God has done as the psalmist says. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. That's so incredible considering the horrible nature of these events. It's really amazing. Really amazing. How could selling your brother be part of a marvelous event and actually wanting to kill him first of all? marvelous event. Our psalm today with these two readings, the story of Joseph being sold into Egypt. Remember the marvels the Lord has done.
and we say Good Friday for that day when humanity fulfills what Jesus describes in the parable. All the messengers were killed and rejected. And then the owner of the vineyard sends his son because of the revelation of love that happened there. In the story of Joseph, the providence of God that was revealed for the time of famine. Just listen to these words here. This is Psalm 105. Those psalms are very powerful. There's some psalms that really review history. What's that gadget going out there? Remember the, the Nessie we had, the Loch Ness monster, monster? There's something else going out there where it looks like it's motorized. I wonder what that is. It's a small gadget. That's a boy out there. Boy. Let's see here. Well, it seems to be mechanized, motorized, probably with an electric thing because you don't hear anything. I wonder if it's a new trick for fishing. And the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them. He sent a man before them, Joseph sold as a slave. This is probably one of the most powerful instances of dramatic intervention of God's providence. But actually that's happening all the time. God is always provident. God never stops being provident. Just like parents for a little child. They're watching 24 7. And even if they're asleep and something happens with the child, the parent wakes very easily <clears throat> to take care of the child. One of the lines that stings pretty severely in the whole attitude the brothers have toward Joseph is just setting the stage for it. They hated him so much that they would not even greet him. So I think most of us are not in a situation where we would kill our sibling. Thanks be to God. But really the path starts much earlier because it starts with one act of rejection, one act of ugly, bad spirit. And not to greet somebody, even a stranger, you know. We learned in the west of Ireland, we greeted everybody. When, and there weren't too many cars on the road <laughs> in our area. And we were always ready to greet everybody. Everybody. There's no way you wouldn't greet somebody. And the farmers are driving along the tractor and they lift up their little finger. Oh yes, this is, this is our gadget is here now. Let's go and check it out in a second. Now it's stopped, it's no longer making noise. So it's, maybe it's just a toy. It has like a little antenna, probably to pick up a signal for remote control. Now we can see it close up actually, it's like a little boat. A lot of 
fish lines out here. Dobro jutro. Dobro, dobro. Medzi? Ah. Oh, wow. It's taking out the bait. So he's, he's sending out food that's going to draw fish. And then we'll obviously unload them. There'll be some little trigger that'll toss it out in the water. So instead of doing the very hard work of flipping it out from a little pouch at the end of a, of a rod, now they will they will uh, load it up here. And there are lines on it. I wonder why the lines are. No, there's very little to the lines. It's not a full line. <laughs> Just a thread. <coughs> All the ingenuity and hobbies. Oh, they have a line onto it. So I think it's going to go out the length of the whole fish line. Now they're sending it off. In a different direction to a different spot. We didn't send it far this time. Well, it's going again, I guess that was just a control thing. Interesting, all the developments that happen. Oh, it's, 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 it's going out on these lines. It's interesting. <laughs> this company is going to have to give me dividends for making their new product known. from that little gadget going out. <laughs> so maybe that's one area where we might have a little wound. Maybe there's somebody in the family we don't greet. Maybe there's somebody in the neighborhood we don't greet. When we were small, there was a girl nobody invited to play with. And children speak about that when they go home, you know. So Mammy said to us, well, you can do something about it. And this is small children, you know. We were very small, primary school. And when the others ask you to play, say, oh yeah, I want to play. And then the game is going to start, but this person is not included, this girl. And so then you can say, well, we're not going to play unless she plays. So then she was included. 
It's a terrible thing to exclude somebody. I often remember my mom and dad saying to us, especially my dad, uh, we don't have favorites in this family. Everybody's completely loved. It's a very human thing to have favorites. Jacob had special love for Joseph, who was a total surprise child in his life, in his old age. There can be all reasons and causes for excluding somebody, ring somebody out before others. Dealing to learn also not to be jealous when other people have special favors, to learn to be, we need a certain toughness actually. We need a certain um, ability not to be jealous, not to be envious. Everybody's different. And yet everybody needs to be treated with the same dignity. These guys are enjoying learning how to use this gadget. Ekorim ha de bar had say. Ekorim law. Huh? Yeah, mad say ekorim law. Ah, comrade. Com? Comrade. Comrade. Ah, comrade. Comrade. Very good. Yom Tov. Yom Tov. So I think we have a lot to ponder there already this morning. And that really sums up all of human history. From the moments that of seminal exclusion internally in our hearts to the complete violence of what was done to Joseph, what was done to Jesus on Good Friday. And looking at our world, it's not far from us. It's really the history of humanity and can be very much the state of our own lives and how God's providence is at work and his marvelous deeds are happening through all of that. And don't forget, we're doing the pilgrimage of hope, the pilgrimage, sorry, the pilgrimage of uh, freedom, Exodus and the Ten Commandments. Kathleen is doing a great job and in Spanish it's really wild. It's, the numbers are incredible that are participating in English, which is building up that YouTube channel. So if you subscribe there, if you haven't done that yet, you'll be helping as well, helping the process of bringing it to people's attention. And you can also subscribe to the pilgrimage and get the extra helps that are given for the pilgrimage. So I leave it like that, people. God bless you. See you later, alligators. Have a blessed day. We're almost through the 3rd of March already, it's crazy. Remember the marvels the Lord has done in your life too.